Hey, Mike Pilser coming to you again with the uh, part two of the uh, tree stand video. And what this is, this one here is the Loggy Bayou climbing tree stand. And this really applies to any, any tree stand that you want to use these, uh, these same little tricks. They're just cheap little tricks. But this, uh, what this is, it's the backpack strap. So what I've done is I took and put back strap backpack straps on here and I used an old military surplus uh, that I had got. It's a bag from a military surplus store and it's, it's a long duffel bag and these backpack straps were on it. So <clears throat> what I done is I cut them off and then as you can see here, I put them on. Now this bolt on this loggy by you right here goes through to the other side. Let me show you here. See it goes right through there. And that's where that nut is for when you extend this out, you know, to go to put it on the tree, the other part will come up. Then I just run that bolt, use that same bolt, and sewed in a piece of webbing. Now, where am I getting the webbing? Okay, that's a good question. The webbing is coming from some old harnesses. You know, a lot of these tree stands will come with harnesses. Loggy Bayou does as well. I had several of them laying around. And this, uh, this webbing is real tough, real durable, because, you know, it's supposed to hold you up if you happen to fall out of the tree. So I used that. I sewed these backpack straps right into it. Then I had an old fanny pack. And where this loops over your shoulder, you tend to have, that's where the weight's at. That's where the pressure will be. So what I done is I took the padding out of one of the old back, or the uh, fanny packs that I had, and I sewed that extra padding in right there where it goes over your shoulders. Okay, then the strap that holds the fanny pack around your waist, I took the strap off and I sewed it right into this uh, upper part of, of the backpack strap. So that goes across your chest. And many of you know what I'm talking about. If you're trying to carry something heavy like a backpack or a tree stand and you try to duck underneath branches, it tries to slide off your shoulders. Well, you can put this right across your chest and it's adjustable. It's quick release and it won't try to slide off your chest. Okay, so the next thing I did where it fastens on the bottom is you can see how I've just got a, just a slide loop. And what I done is I sewed one end. I sewed it right here. And then I took this apart right here and I slid it through the loop and that way it's just, it's just a loop. I, don't, I didn't have to fasten it. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't have to fasten it to the tree stand. It's just a slide through loop. So just cheap tricks that you can use. The other thing I told you I was going to show you on these pads um, and what these are is the armrest pads. And what, was, what came on it was, you know, there was little short uh, armrest pads, but they were short, so they slid back and forth. And what would happen is if, like I had my bow out and I was trying in the seated position and trying to draw, it, if these pads weren't in the right place and I happened to hit it, this is a real lightweight aluminum, it'd go ting. Many of you have heard that. And you can imagine what the deer do when they hear that. So I, uh, I eliminated, eliminated that by using a longer pad. And here's what I used. It just... Uh, Foam insulation that goes around your water pipes and stuff. It's cheap. I mean, this stuff's nothing. And this is just the, uh, the one inch. Got that. And then what I had laying around was these are just some old lawn chair carrying, you know, just the carrying bags. This was kind of a dark green. So I just used it and I just cut these the lengthways. And then I used those to wrap around these insulator pads. And I sewed, as you can see, I've sewed the ends. Okay, then I used Velcro. Right there. All the way down, I used Velcro. And I sewed it right in along with it. So when these are on there, they're Velcroed on. So if you want to take them off for any reason, you could. But they're also very secure. The other thing I did, remember I told you I cut a... A backpack up for these pads and for these straps well the other part of the backpack right here I sewed in I sewed it right in when I sewed in the uh, the velcro 
I sewed this backpack right in there. Okay, I'm right-handed, so as I'm sitting down, this is on my right side. So this is the armrest. The backpack is sewed right in there, so it's hanging off to the side. And you got your zipper. I put my water bottle in there, and you can put uh, you know, your scents in there, you know, your release or whatever you may want. So just some other cheap little tricks. Then we talked about in the last video how I had taken this seat and extended it out by four inches. One of the things I didn't tell you in the video is the, is the webbing that I used. And it's the same webbing that I used off of, uh, you know, you get a lot of these harnesses that come with these tree stands. Well, I had several of them. And I just took those harnesses and used that webbing. And remember I told you I added four inches to that? That's where I got my webbing from is I used the, uh, the old harnesses. And then these same clips came with the uh, with the original seat. So pretty uh, pretty simple. Let me turn this around so you can see the other side. Now this is in the folded up position. So this thing's all folded up. And this is usually a question to most people. Well, how do I fold it all up and get it all put together to where it you know is easy to carry? Well, what I've done is I fold up. So here is the bottom. Here's the bottom, and it's face up. What I done is I took the top, turned it around, and this uh, this is your adjustable. This is your foot bar, and it's got that plastic wing nut. With the plastic wing nuts pointed up, when you turn the top around, you've got a loop. You got a hole right up in here. This is for the bar that goes up. You got that hole. You can turn it around and you slide this right down over those. Get this where you can see it. You can slide that down right over the top of those wing nuts. Okay, that secures this right here. Then, this one came with one strap that is a, it's not a ratchet strap, but it's just adjustable slide strap that you can pull and it, then it locks it. So I just put that on there, pulled it down tight, that takes care of the top. And I also, I also wrap it. I go around and wrap it there, and that secures these two pieces, the top and bottom together. Tighten that down. All right, what came with this was this belt. This is an adjustable belt that goes around your waist, and you got this other piece that uh, goes to the tree, you know, to hold you in, your security belt. I already had another one I like better, so I took this one, and that's what I go around the bottom with to secure these pieces together so when I'm packing it in, because I, I don't want it rattling. That's one thing I just can't stand is going in the timber and making a bunch of noise and a little rattling because these things will rattle. You know, it's lightweight aluminum and they're gonna touch and they're gonna rattle. So what I do is I just use that. Then I've just got a bungee cord. It goes from right here, hooks right there. It goes up over the top of the seat and everything. And then I've got it to where it just hooks right in this hole here. And that keeps this thing all really, really secure. So hope that helped. And what I'm going to do is uh, the next video, I'm going to actually show you putting this thing together and going up the tree with it and how easy it is for anybody to use one of these safely too and go up a tree. So hope this was helpful. If uh, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and put some comments below. Make nice comments. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, in these videos that would be helpful to you just uh, post in the comments and I'll do another video have a great day God bless you bye bye